Okay, I guess we're live. Yeah, I see the little live on Facebook in the corner. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah so Wait until yeah. everybody comes. Awesome. We finally got it down. I'm so happy. Yeah, yeah. But you know, you gotta learn the stuff. You gotta yeah. learn it. Mm, it takes takes practice and trial and error. You gotta learn it. Mm -hmm. uh, Especially when it's live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a few people coming in. Great. Yeah. Excited. No. Oops. Oh, did you take a picture? Yeah, that was me. Oh. <laughs> my, bringer, my bringer's still on. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah, though no, that's good because I, uh, yeah, I don't want that going off. I thought I turned it off. No, that's good. Okay. Let me do this. All right, and it's six twenty eight, so to see three minutes. So the image that is uh, behind you, um, did it come from anywhere in particular or? I got that. I won that. Oh, wow. um, I was in Atlanta. Okay. Uh, this was some time ago. I was actually in a um, a uh, auction mm. uh, with my own work, and um, I happened to see that piece there, and um, I was like, "Wow, that just was uh, an artist out of." Um, I think it's Atlanta. Um, so yeah, um, yeah and I've like had the, it for a number of years. Yeah, um, I like the colors and the texture yeah, I do, of it. it yeah, mm -hmm. and it had a name to it that really um, that really intrigued me, but I can't remember what it, it's probably on the back of the <laughs> the thing. But um, yeah. That it, was a good win. <laughs> yeah, it was. I yeah. was very, I yeah. was very, um, um, I was really excited to get that. Let's see. It's exactly 6.30 now, so I'm going to wait a few more minutes and then we'll just get started. And okay. Just get in where they fit in. I don't know if I can, since I don't have my screen up, if I could follow along somehow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that guy, I don't know. Like, yeah, I want to pay attention, but at the same time, yeah. Oh, yeah, there we are. And those of you that are online right now, we thank you for coming early. Yes, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll go ahead and get started in a few minutes. I just wanted to have a few more people come in. And, and I am such a stickler for starting on time. I end up... Uh, coming online kind of early. So 
you know, tech, tech technology. You know? yeah, yeah. You never know. You yeah. never know. It's when you don't show up early and check up. That's out. when you rush and yeah, things issues. don't go right. And everybody's you looking at you. Take the time. You're like, do, do, do. Yeah. 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 So we'll get started in a minute or two. Let me see. All right, you ready to start? Great, yeah. All right. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's do this. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, thank you all for coming to um, this Facebook Live. I'm Sharon Burton, and I am the founder of Spark Your Creative Coaching, and I'm very excited um, today to do a Facebook Live. I was actually trying to think, have I done? I think, yeah, we did one. I think two years ago um, with a good friend of mine, Nina, and uh, didn't mean to take that long to do, <laughs> to do a, a Facebook hiatus, Live. Yeah. <laughs> but here we are. And um, today, if you didn't know, uh, besides the fact that um, uh, World um, let's say Earth Day is tomorrow and a yeah. few other things mm -hmm. are going on, today is World Creativity and Innovation Day. Mm -hmm. and I've been celebrating that for the last two years. Uh, this is a uh, sort of a holiday that's now a week long thing um, that started um, about 10 or 12 years ago. And it really um, highlights um, the creativity and the innovation of people on this earth and has been recognized by um, the United Nations. And so I, um, through Spark Your Creative, uh, use this as a time to remind people of their creativity and to celebrate creativity um, as um, something that we all have the ability to do, not just um, those that we know that are considered super talented and that sort of thing. And so as a coach, um, I work with people who feel they're not creative but want to be creative or those that have, um, that know and recognize their creative ability, but need a little help getting unstuck. And um, so I am very pleased to be able to present um, this Facebook Live to you, um, not only for my clients, but for people in general. Um, we've been um, dealing with this thing called COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. um, as a result, many of us, including yours truly, have been in the house and um, trying to um, find ways to survive, <laughs> being, mm -hmm. not being able to get out and do the things that we're used to doing. Um, and because a lot of, um, there's a lot of advice out there about how to manage and, and work with this time period of uh, being isolated and um, the uh, physical distancing. I don't like using social distancing. I like using mm -hmm. physical distancing because I think we're still social like we are today. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I thought would really be cool is to talk with people um, about how creativity can really make a difference during this time and as a form of self-care, um, how we can engage our families and even those who don't feel that they are creative um, can find some calmness um, uh, through the use of, uh, you know, some form of creativity. So the other day I mm -hmm. was in conversation with my good friend, Gretchen Miller, mm -hmm. who's my guest today. Yeah. And I was telling her, I want to do something for World Creativity and Innovation Day. And I said, you know, what I think would be really good is something that talks about using creativity as a way to deal with anxiety and help us calm um, ourselves um, during this time. 
and she mm -hmm. graciously accepted. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you for and, inviting um, me. <laughs> thank you. So, so I'm very delighted that she's with me. Um, she actually did a podcast with me. I think was it last year or a year before? Oh, I think it's like yeah, maybe a uh, two years or three years. I mean, time I like flew by. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, she is just a wonderful person that I've known for about five years or so mm -hmm. now. Yeah, and let me nice tell you a little that. bit about her. It might, it just feels longer though, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, Gretchen Miller is a Cleveland, Ohio-based registered board certified art therapist, certified trauma practitioner, and a visiting instructor at Ursuline. Am I? Mm -hmm. Yep, Ursuline. Okay. Um, college's uh, counseling and art therapy program for over 20 years. Gretchen has had a commitment to activating digital platforms for the community organizing and networking. Um, and she's also um, the founder of the Art Therapy Alliance. Mm -hmm. And she's written um, a book for art therapists mm -hmm. on how to engage social media mm -hmm. more effectively um, to get the word out. And I think she's one of the, the people that has really been pushing for um, a lot of visibility uh, with art therapy across the country. Um, mm -hmm. Art therapy used to be one of those things that you hear about every now and then, and it was just the sort of subset of, of uh, psychology and mental health. And it was not, um, as recognized as it is now. I, I'm hearing a lot of young people, matter of fact, talking mm -hmm. about becoming art therapists. And I keep mm -hmm. saying to myself, if I did everything all over again, <laughs> I would go to school for art therapy. Mm -hmm. But um, Gretchen is just uh, a phenomenal person. She um, not only um, is a great art therapist, but she also is just a champion of creativity and um, really encouraging creativity um, and activities with um, artists and other art therapists alike. So just want to thank you, Gretchen, um, oh, yeah. from coming all the way from Ohio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, thank, no, thank you. That was such a kind, yeah, introduction. And again, thank you for having me. This is great. I mean, on uh, you know, World Creativity Day and um, celebrating, you know, through this way, but also, you know, talking about creativity and its impact related to what we've all been experiencing with um, COVID-19. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that, um, you know, first of all, I, I just want to give a shout out to um, everyone that's been doing what they can to flatten the curve mm -hmm. um, and really do, you know, um, staying indoors and, and really trying to do what they need to do to help um, mm -hmm. our citizens um, in different places, um, you know, not get exposed to it. I know it's been hard. It's been hard uh, whether you live alone or with, you know, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, and um, but the, the the other thing is that although we are doing our best to to flatten the curve, um, you know, there's a lot of people. Um, whether you are an active artist or creative or writer, or you're not, that are dealing with anxiety and dealing with uh, the uncomfortable feelings of okay, what's going to happen? The numbers in a lot of places keep going up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hearing from all these different people, oh, just do something creative. You know, mm -hmm. we're told to go outside, <laughs> to yeah, you go hiking or whatever, yeah. and mm -hmm. then get creative. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes that's not as easy as it sounds, even mm -hmm. for those of us that have been practicing um, our creativity for a while. So I wanted to start off and ask, mm -hmm. what what is the benefit of create, doing something creative mm. during this time? How does that calm or relax or, you know, help people deal with anxiety? Yeah, that's a really good question. And especially during these really um, unknown, uncertain times and the nature of being creative, the act of creating, whether that's visual art making or through music or writing or dance or movement, one of the things that really helps 
bring in that relaxation piece is the repetitive pattern sort of action of that. Like doing something over and over again can be very rhythmic and calming on your mind and then also on your body. So when you're, you know, visually working, you know, whether that's painting or drawing or doodling, even doodling is a great way, you know, just kind of just kind of doing different patterns and designs and um, kind of layouts of things that it kind of lets you be mindful sort of in that moment because you're focused on sort of that in the present. You're not thinking about, you know, the future and, you know, that can make us anxious or good being pulled to the past where then that can make us feel maybe regretful or bring up kind of other feelings like when we're in the moment we can just be and um i think listening to music has uh, a similar thing or creating music or writing mm -hmm. um a story or a poem or um engaging in some form of move movement or dance that again just that rhythmic kind of pattern can just be very calming sort of um, on our overall well-being. Um, so I, I feel like that's one of the things that really stick out to me that I often express related to the kind of regulating, calming nature of creativity in general, you know, whether that's actual like art making or not art making um, mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Yeah. Now, what about, there are people that may want to be creative and do something mm -hmm. creative um, as a way to relax and calm their nerves about all of this craziness that we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. What are some things would you recommend for someone, let's say maybe they've never done anything like really, you know, what we call creative. You know, mm -hmm. they they just or they're not sure or whatever, and they may feel like, well, what can I do? I'm not I'm not I don't you know I don't draw. I I'm not mm -hmm. a dancer. I feel funny doing this and that. Mm -hmm. What are some activities that might be helpful to to people like that that they could think about doing mm -hmm. um, that would be therapeutic, but also mm -hmm. kind of whet their appetite on on, you know, being creative. So mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you touched on um, a big piece, you know, if somebody doesn't feel like they are creative, I mean, I hear mm -hmm. that, you know, like, oh, I'm not creative. I'm not. And being creative isn't always about being artistic, you know, like being able to like draw or paint or to sing or to, you know, dance, um, creativity, is a lot about imagination and looking at things, you know, in a different way. And I think um, being open to kind of playing and experimenting, um, if you're, you know, what somebody's like, oh, go out and be creative, you know, mm -hmm. like, well, where do I start with that? And some of it is being maybe silly or playful and just kind of, you know, do movement to like music or just kind of start doodling and, and or um, maybe it's going out and gardening or um, cooking or baking um, something. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that. Because um, some people are more, enjoy. yeah, some people are more into cooking and they don't really think of that as a creative. No, yeah, it, but like, yeah. that's totally not my, like, <laughs> mm -hmm, in my mm -hmm. wheelhouse of, of creativity is cooking and baking and all of that. Mm -hmm. But I know some people that, you know, that's amazing for them and can able to, you know, whip up great sort of meals and, you know, things to, to kind of eat. And so um, thinking about that, you know, in relationship to, everything that you do, you know, whether that is um, getting out in the garden, garden or um, sort of physical activity, you know, movement and exercise and things like that, um, that you don't have to be focused on the product and what it sort of is going to look like or sound like or look like, you know, when you're done, but really just focus on the process. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, not be so, um, 
worried about the outcome of it and the control yeah. of it, which um, I think in, in these times, you know, there's a lot of things that we can't control or things that are happening out of our control that just letting go kind of of that and having fun um, mm -hmm. and being playful and maybe silly um, can help jumpstart, you know, you feeling like, you know, I can, I can be sort of creative, like ever seeing yourself sort of in that way. Okay. Yeah. And that kind of leads me to my next question. Um, a lot of people are at home with the kids mm -hmm. and, um, you know, there are times where things are working well and there's times when <laughs> things get a little tense. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it, it's a good opportunity to engage in creativity with kids, particularly mm -hmm. whether you are considered a creative or not. Mm -hmm. um, but what are your suggestions as far as maybe engaging like your family members, especially young kids into creative activities outside of maybe the homeschooling um, mm -hmm. kinds of activities? Yeah, I think there's a lot of great opportunity like as a family to engage in creativity together. And some of the things that I mentioned, you know, with the last question, I think can be brought into the family um, sort of participation as well like maybe that's like planning a garden garden together or it's mm -hmm. kind of making a meal together or cooking you know like making cupcakes or whatever you might have like available um in your home right now i think that's another thing that um you have to consider you know a lot of people may not have you know access to um art materials or um you don't need like really fancy sort of things that you can get creative with what you have available and being resourceful in that way. Um, so maybe that's doing like a scavenger hunt as a family, mm -hmm. like, you know, like thinking of things like based on colors or textures or um, things that are just around the house that, um, that the whole family can kind of engage in together. I think that's the really important versus just maybe the kid, you know, like that everybody can. Um, music, you know, we talked about like dance, um, maybe creating like a family playlist um, that everybody gets to add like a song or music and then maybe having like a family dance party, you know, mm -hmm. to that playlist, get that again, like silliness and just getting everybody um, together and participating um, in that way. Um, there's also with being outside and outdoors, like using nature and bringing nature into um, your creativity, whether that's collecting kind of rocks or stones like if you're able to like paint those and mm -hmm. maybe leave them you know like somewhere where another person can find it out in their walks um or um sticks or leaves and then kind of creating with those um that can be very calming um as well to do as a family you know not only just being outdoors but then also doing something engaged um together so i think that there's a lot of possibilities beyond just let's like you know paint together let's you know create yeah, yeah, yeah. this that you can use like what you have and um do that together you know no matter what ages you know or or people that are in the household you know it's interesting um one of the phenomenons i've been noticing is um tiktok the mm, oh uh -huh. yes maybe. yeah and there's a lot of parents and a lot of kids doing that together yeah and i don't know if people think about it as creativity but it really is um, oh definitely i'm working with um, an organization now we're getting ready to do um a lip sync contest for mm -hmm. young people and um you know we were talking about how talented a lot of these kids are and that you know you can really use that medium to to really you know mm -hmm. express yourself so you know, that's one of the ways that people, you know, and a lot of people are hams, you know, to get out there with those kids. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. Yeah, yeah, no, I was just talking mm -hmm. about TikTok like over the weekend, mm -hmm. um, just how, yeah, like the dances and things that are 
kind of, you know, being done, being you know, on, especially yeah. because of people being home. It's and it, that's fun to watch as well. You know, it's not just maybe doing it, but then, you know, seeing it as well. Yeah, there was a video um, on Instagram I saw today where um, somebody was showing the grandfather and this little girl. Oh, um, I think the I saw that. that they were yeah. on the Did street. You see that? Where they were on the yeah. street. Yeah, and they and were they dancing, each like other. doing these little dance yeah. and yeah. stuff. And I was like, wow. And I mean, they weren't, they didn't get close because of the social. Yeah, they were right. They were across distance. the street from each other. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it was just the cutest thing. And I was like, wow, you know, but those are the kinds of activities that people can do. Yeah. And, and as you said, you know, you can get silly with it. Who cares? You know, yeah, it's like about, about the process. Expressing just, yourself yeah. and levitating the vibration mm -hmm. of, um, you know, your spirit as, as well as the uh, those around you. So mm -hmm. I, I think that's a wonderful suggestion. The other thing I was thinking about and have been hearing a little bit and wanted to get your take on it um, is people that are creative mm -hmm. um, that are having blocks mm -hmm. because of this, mm -hmm. you know, um, and, you know, I was sharing with somebody, you know, one of the big blocks I've had is not been so much creating um, like art, mm -hmm. the 2D stuff that I do. But the writing, you know, um, I, I did write a poem the other day, which kind of expressed how I felt about this whole situation. But that was the first time I was able to do that. And that was several weeks in. Mm -hmm. But there are some people um, that want to take advantage of this time at home, but they just can't get past, I guess, sort of the anxiety and the you know, all that, you know, as artists, we tend to be empaths. We take in everything. We take in everything from the numbers we're hearing, the people running around with masks. I know mm -hmm. that bothers me <laughs> for some yeah. reason. That's my thing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, protesters and this and that, you know, and so all of that kind of gets here. Yeah, it's all. Yeah. And then it just sort of it can just sort of zap your creative energy. And, you know, some people are into, um, you know, creating based on this. I'm not a person that does that. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not a COVID artist, you mm -hmm. know, I'm just mm -hmm. an artist. So I don't mm -hmm. just jump on that. I just like to continue to do what I do, mm -hmm. but, uh, but not uh, draw in the energy of the situation I'm not and I'm not really talking about them because they tend to be productive but mm -hmm. those of us that may have some blocks you know mm -hmm. uh, because of this what are what is your thoughts on what that could be and how we could work around that yeah I think that with this everything that's going on and what everybody's managing you know being at home you know, family members and, and kind of dealing with, you know, everybody maybe being in the same space or if you're, you know, alone sort of in the space. I mean, I think everybody's kind of managing um, in different ways. And there, I think, is that expectation sometimes like, oh, we have to do something with this time, you know, like we have to be like productive or we have to kind of produce and, and keep kind of going, you know, whether mm -hmm. it's like work related or if you're able to kind of um, take off time from work or um, your job's been really impacted. I mean, that's going to have, you know, stuff in your head as well. Right. It's like, so like cognitive and um, remembering to be kind of patient with yourself and kind to yeah. yourself and um, that you don't have to be like productive and kind of starting sort of somewhere, you know, like, and again, I think that being sort of silly and just kind of focusing on the process of stuff and not like, oh my gosh, I have to like produce this or I have to create this or I haven't written or painted in like, you know, weeks or, you know, since this started um, to just sort of start somewhere um, and just kind of have fun or just use it as a way to kind of relax in some way. And that might be um, 
things like you know filming like video of yourself like what while you're outside you know like Mm -hmm. just filming like your surroundings or maybe it's taking pictures of stuff um or um doing something that you normally wouldn't do um to kind of get yourself sort of thinking and maybe um experiencing things in a different way and maybe then that inspiration will kind of come um from that and in in a new way that you completely didn't um sort of imagine was possible um in that but again i think focusing on the just the process and not so much about like the outcome of Mm -hmm. things can kind of maybe start those wheels kind of turning a little bit and if if they don't you know that's okay too you know that there'll be sort of a time that'll that'll come up again I think sometimes when we're really um have expectations of things it can really kind of block things up some so sometimes if you just like let that go then it sort of brings up like other things to the surface yeah and I would probably add that um what helps me a a bit is sometimes it's just to limit the amount of media Mm -hmm. social media or oh yes the exposure Mm -hmm. of all of those things that mess with you and I know it's hard because it's it's especially now because we use that as a way to connect with people and yeah, to connect yeah. what's going mm-hmm. on. But mm-hmm. at the same time, it's sort of a double-edged sword. So maybe limiting the time or, yeah. you know, um, I scrub my feed every so often to make sure. But there's some people I love dearly, but they're just so mm-hmm. into a lot of this mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, you, know, you got to monitor. Yeah. And, and it's like, it's triggering for me. I know that they're trying to provide, um, you know, keep us informed. But sometimes mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I just can't do it today you know I know mm-hmm. that there's some craziness going on but you know I mute folks or whatever mm-hmm. I need yeah. to do for my own self-care um mm-hmm. and um so I would I usually tell people that too that you mm-hmm. know depending on how you get your information you may want to um adjust your settings on Facebook or mm-hmm. Instagram or wherever you get your yeah where you're kind of navigating yeah and you know mute folks and unfollow mm-hmm. folks yeah you know, yes. because I mean, it doesn't mean that you don't love them you know but some people get caught up in certain certain things and you know you could be scrolling and be in a good mood and then it's like boom you know it's like you know mm-hmm. so yeah. you know, again That's a really I, good... I love that people are trying to keep folks involved yeah I yeah like no. ah, you know this yes is yeah and and I feel like that's like with everything that's going on and not having a lot of control or maybe power in, you know, what's happening, that's yeah. something we can kind of have power in. We can take our power back and choosing what we kind of invite and sort of to be a part of our into. daily yeah, and, yeah. And that, <laughs> that and that like is fluid you know it it changes like you said like maybe on a certain day you're just like I can't I'm just not there yeah and so maybe it's you know maybe not necessarily like you know cutting somebody out but just hiding or Facebook's got a thing where you can snooze somebody for like a month Um, yeah I saw that yeah so they kind of like you know for a month you don't see any of their stuff and then all of a sudden they like appear again and um and also being aware of like what you're putting out as well like Mm -hmm. um so you're um also mindful of Of how you're showing up what you're like contributing to others to to, 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 to the world yes try to be very mindful yeah yes yeah so i think that's very important you know it's great to be informed Mm -hmm. um, and know what's going on um but at the same time, it can really be stressful, you know, even if we think it isn't, you know, it can be right. Hard. So maybe just taking certain times during the day to check in, you know, and, and just then, leave it at that. Don't do that, you know, maybe a couple hours before bed or, you know, whatever works for you mm-hmm. to help kind of, I don't know, keep a, a you know, your sort of regulation in check a little check. bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. 
it looks like we got, do we have any questions from the folks that are watching right now? Mm. Yeah, I'd love to hear if people are curious about anything. Well, and if people didn't get a chance to make it, um, mm -hmm. if you catch the replay, mm -hmm. feel free to comment any yeah. questions and um, both Gretchen and I will be monitoring it this week and we'll be more than happy to yeah, we can follow up and answer and yeah, and, um, provide some resources that mm -hmm. might be helpful to you. Yeah. Okay, well. I don't see any questions. Oh, Anne. Hi, Anne. How are you? It's good to <laughs> Hello, see Anne. you. Hello, Anne. Yeah, uh, Anne is a very good friend of mine, a renowned artist here oh, um, in awesome. the Washington, D.C. area, and I appreciate her presence today. All right. Well, I guess not. I guess we're yeah. good. Um, we'll be, uh, again, the replay will be available on the page. Feel free to continue to watch um, if you have questions, anything that you want to share. And I want to thank Gretchen for being yeah. with me today and no, no dealing problem. with the thank technology you. stuff that we oh, had. Oh, no, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole different type of regulation, you know. Thank, Most you, definitely. thank goodness for technology, especially during these sort of times, you know, but. And I will be yeah. sharing. Um, Gretchen's information too, in case you wanted to connect with her or follow her on um, social media. Um, uh, and I'm also going to probably um, post the link to her uh, podcast discussion. Because what were we hmm. talking about with that? I oh, think right. it was uh, about art therapy. Art was therapy. It like art therapy, about. like un un unveiled. Was yeah, that yeah. Or I right? think so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, uh -huh. so I'll post that because I think it's a good topic. We're going into uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. Is it mm -hmm. is right? in May? In yeah, May. it's coming so, up. Yeah. Um, it, I think that's a good. Um, good thing to learn and to, to and particularly now, you know, because there's a lot going on and people respond to different kinds of therapy. And mm -hmm. I personally think art therapy is one of the best out there for people that may uh, not respond well to traditional therapy or to add as mm -hmm. a part of your traditional therapy. So mm -hmm. anyway, Thank you so much for oh, wearing um, purple. Um, in, yes, yeah. Uh, recognizing uh, Prince today. So those yeah. of you that might be mm -hmm. into him, uh, I know yeah. I am. I miss him terribly. Yeah. But thank you all. And um, yeah, thank you all for joining and, and inviting. Free, yeah. Yeah. Feel free to uh, contact us. All right. All right. All right. Have a good can... night, everyone. Yeah.